Hello everyone, welcome to ACE Preparation League. In this session, we are going to discuss about the heat transfer through a composite cylinder and here we are neglecting the effects of convection. That means we are not considering a fluid flowing inside as well as outside. Just we have considered a composite cylinder condition here where conduction plays a very, very important role. For that, the assumptions that we need to consider are we are taking one dimensional condition that means we take only the radial direction we take only the radial direction steady state condition with respect to time there will be no variation in the temperature so that's why dt by d tau is equal to 0 and there is no internal heat generation qg equal to 0 this is what we will consider as the assumptions in this case. Now, here is the composite cylinder which is made of two different materials of thermal conductivities K1 and K2. The inner radius is taken as R1, the radius at the interface is taken as R2 and the outer radius is taken as R3. The temperatures at the inner interface and the outer are T1, T2, T3 respectively. Now, as we know, if we consider this particular part, the heat transferred Q will be equal to T1 minus T2 by ln R2 by R1 by 2 pi K1 L. So, this is the heat transferred in the first portion, whereas the heat transferred in the second one is Q is equal to T2 minus T3 by ln R3 by R2 by 2 pi K2 L. Under steady state condition, whatever is the heat transferred in the first one, will be equal to heat transferred in the second one. That means, you can equate these two expressions and determine the ratio of temperature drops or the ratio of thermal conductivities if the remaining terminology is given in the problem. So, that means, you can equate these two equations. Now, our intention here is to determine what will be the overall heat transfer. So, for that, let us take T1 minus T2 from this expression and T2 minus T3 from the second expression. So, if I write like this, T1 minus T2 will be Q into, just cross multiply this one here, such that we get ln R2 by R1 by 2 pi K1 L and T2 minus T3 is equal to Q into ln R3 by R2 by 2 pi K2 L. Adding these two, we get the overall temperature difference T1 minus T3. If you observe these two expressions, Q by 2 pi L is common. So, if I take it outside, ln R2 by R1 by K1 plus ln R3 by R2 by K2. This is what we have got here. Now, from this, Q heat transfer can be written as Q is equal to 2 pi L into overall temperature difference T1 minus T3 divided by ln R2 by R1 by K1 plus ln R3 by R2 by K2. See, this denominator term is not RTH here. The reason is we have taken 2 pi L to the numerator. So, if this 2 pi L is also there in this expression and in this expression, you can write it as RTH1, RTH2 here. But here we can't write because I have taken 2, P, 2 pi L to the numerator. So, this is the formula for heat transfer here. Suppose 
if there are n cylinders so if there are n cylinders like this so what could be the overall heat transfer for that the expression goes like this q is equal to 2 pi l into t1 minus tn plus 1 we need to consider by sigma n is equal to 1 to n ln rn plus 1 by rn by kn. T1 minus Tn plus 1 we have written here. The reason is when there are two cylinders, we are getting this temperature as T3, the exit temperature as T3. So, therefore, here when there are n cylinders, then the outermost layer temperature will be Tn plus 1. That is the reason we have written. Then in the denominator, we are getting R2 by R1 by K1 and here R3 by R2 by K2. So, that means if n equal to 1, if I take, then R1 in the numerator, it will be R2 and here you will get K1. So, when there is only one cylinder, this formula will be ln R2 by R1 by K1. If there are two cylinders, as there is sigma n equal to 1 to n, you can say ln R2 by R1 by K1 plus ln R3 by R2 by K2. Like that, depending upon the number of cylinders available, you can use this as the generalized formula. For more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want to learn more interesting things from our expert faculty members, download ACE online app. The link will be available in the description box below. Thank you.